welcome back to my channel. Do you want to hear me bitch about my husband? Vlogsters. <sighs> okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. He's gone. Um, boy, I'll tell you. You know, it's about to be that time of the month and I want to rip his eyes out. <laughs> you guys are always like, oh, you two are so in love. How do you do it? Oh, we don't always do it. <laughs> I love him, I do. But I am human after all. That's all. I'm only human. All right, so let's show you all of the groceries. That's what I forgot to pick up hummus. I really tried. He was giving me a lot of grief in the store. I'll tell you about that later. Maybe I'll vlog tomorrow. Once a month, I'm gonna have a vlog where I vent. I'm either crying or I'm mad at my husband. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be from now on. <laughs> anyway, this is, um, so we picked up that. And so that's everything from all these. You guys wanna hear me bitch about my husband? <sighs> I will just tell you, the conversation as such went on the way home. I always start off with an apology for my behavior. Because even if I'm hormonal and I'm edgy and I'm cranky, there is no excuse for acting out there really isn't um, yes it is the reason but it is not an excuse I should be able to control my behavior at times but here's what it was so we planned to run to Aldi between breakfast and him going to work so we had breakfast at like 11 30 we were done eating uh, and we were he has to be to work at 2 so we had time and Aldi is really just five minutes up the road. There is a storm coming, so I didn't want to pull it, put it off. I was out of milk, I was out of half and half, and I was out of creamer, and I was only on my first cup of coffee. So I had nothing for my second cup of coffee. I do keep powdered creamer in there, like sugar-free vanilla coffee mate, but on many occasions it gives me indigestion. So it's sort of a last resort. Um, so, We were finished with breakfast, I and mean, even before breakfast, I guess the nice way to say it is, Jim requires me to have a certain amount of patience as a wife. Most husbands probably do. But Jim has some issues where he had like, he has social anxieties at times, and he has, um, I actually called it like social retardation when he was when I met him because he really had not known how to be around people and I know that that sounds like he's not just an introvert because if you've seen him he's not really just an introvert he just didn't learn how to be around people he is an only child raised by even though mom wasn't an only child she was so far away from her siblings age-wise that she only had siblings for a short period of time in her life it seems like um, but her dad was a huge, had a huge family, but her dad, his dad was the youngest and his dad died when he was young. So it was sort of like, I don't know exactly what, um, what is the reason for it, but this is just the facts. The facts are that he doesn't really know how to be around people. So he's always required a certain amount of patience from me, um, which I praise Jesus and God that I was granted with patience when I was born. I just was the kind of person who was always patient. Um, but once a month, to put it politely, I no longer have the patience for him. And not only that, then I actually am irritable. So here's how it goes. If Jim is at always like running on his level three of gymness, and I'm at a level one of jerryness. We balance each other out. I can, my patience comes up and brings me to a three to meet him, sort of, let's put it that way. If it's that time of the month, I already lose that 2% of patience and I drop down to about level five of irritability. For some reason, he goes, I call him Jim times 10, Jim 10X. Jim goes to like, his behavior is just modified extremely, extremely, extremely. And I actually just said something 
kind of horrible, and I don't mean horrible like, not horrible to him, but I said horrible, sometimes when you put horrible things out in the universe, horrible things happen. I said, can't just for, for a couple of days a month, and it, honestly, though the, though the cycle can be like five to seven days, the irritability is really just one or two days. It's just one or two days where I just need TLC from him. And I said, can't you treat it like almost like I have cancer twice a month and just how nice you would treat me? And that's the horrible thing I put out there, by the way. I said, can't you just treat me like I'm ill, actually, like, and you need to care for me and you need to, like, step up your game? And that's where I left it with him. Like, I apologized when he laughed again. I said I was sorry and that I loved him and all these things, but... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen out there, it's just so taxing. And I said, 20 years. We've been together over 20 years now. 20 years and one month. Um, and I'm like, 20 years of being together, you, you still haven't learned to just not be gym 10x on those two, three days a, a month. Like, just be regular gym. I already don't have patience for regular gym those three days a month, but when you amplify your negative behaviors, like, what are you trying to do? Like, what are you trying to do? <sighs> Anyhow, we went to the store and his mental capacity was stressing about the time. The whole time he was stressing about the time. He knew the majority of what we needed to get because he actually was the one who inventoried the freezer and refrigerator and cabinets. But when we got to the store, he was like dumbfounded. And I was like, go get what you think we need. Like even if he picked up the wrong things, there's a 50-50 chance he's gonna pick up the right thing. You know what I mean? I'll take that 50% as opposed to you holding the shopping cart down. What are you holding the shopping cart down for? Like, I don't understand. So, all right. I was communicating with him some things we needed. I needed help getting creamer because I haven't had creamer in a week and a half. Just, just because. Actually, it's probably only been a week, but it seems like a week and a half. I've been drinking the half and a half, which is more than adequate with Splenda. I just drink half and a half with Splenda. But I really wanted the creamer, and I know we know that the creamer at Aldi, the reason I don't always rely on getting creamer at Aldi is because there's the case may only have one or two bottles of sugar-free in it. And today we had to go pull out two whole cases to get to the one sugar-free creamer in the last case. Um, so I got that, but I needed his help, and he's like standing there staring at me like I'm speaking another language. And it's sort of like, what is happening like you're I'm trying to be efficient and I'm trying to be ex like expedite things I'm trying to really get this shopping done quickly and it would be great if we were a team but this is that time where he's just gonna like be somewhere else and I said to him when we came home because he was continuing it even after the conversation on the way home he's still continuing to just be like anti-destination league um, I never got to tell you. So anyway, we, we've done with breakfast and instead of leaving, he, he got something delivered in the mail today for me and he wanted me to open it. And I have a video, he basically bought me a gimbal. So I have a video that's on Instagram, you guys will see, but it, so I had to sit here and waste 20 minutes playing with this gimbal and setting this gimbal up. And then I was like, we don't have time to go. And I, I know <laughs> because I've dealt with some men and males and male children in the past that when they do this thing where they delay into avoidance and they also um some not all some also do a um air, air to avoidance so basically like when you ask your male child to load the dishwasher and he loads everything where nothing gets clean or everything in the totally wrong spot they do some do that psychologically to not be asked to do it again i mean that's just that's just studies you know what I mean like that's just history again that's not a stereotype that's not everybody 100 percent but it tends to be something that happens often um i know we men and women process things differently too but i think that today was that today was like he was gonna prove himself right that we didn't have enough time to go so he was going to drag his feet 
pretty much, and like metaphorically drag, drag his feet the whole time we went shopping. And um, finally I was like, I forgot the vinegar. Can you go get the vinegar? I just need him to get out of my face. <laughs> when we go shopping, oh, sorry, I thought I fixed that. Oh, then the timer went off, sorry. When we go shopping with mom, okay, sorry. When we go shopping at Aldi and we go shopping with mom, he either stands at the side of the end of the shopping cart or at the end of the end of the shopping cart. Um, usually at the side of the end of the shopping cart. And if I find something that goes into the, like I usually keep the cold and the safe stuff up front, like the milk and the eggs, and then cold stuff. He'll, I hand something to him and I'll put it in the shopping cart. Today he was just like behind me. And I'm like, why are you behind me? Like, this is new. This is a new behavior. I was picking out frozen vegetables. And he's standing there and he's sighing now and rolling his eyes. It's only 1 o'clock. So we still have an hour to get him home, put stuff away. And he was already dressed for work, except had to change his shoes. So, um, we, you know, we have, like, all this time. And he's like. And I'm like, if you're so impatient, go get the breakfast sausage. It's like two cases up. You don't have to hold the shopping cart. <laughs> oh, God bless America. <sighs> Anyhow. Yeah. So that's, that's my, my marriage, my story in a nutshell. Seriously, though, I, it's hard for me to talk about this, like, on a vlog, because Lisa's probably like, I told you. <laughs> she never said don't marry him, but um, she basically let me know that he had issues when we first met. But I knew he had issues when we first met. But I also knew that I was the person God put on this planet to deal with the issues, to love him unconditionally. But the funniest thing was, is, and, and I know I thought I was done, but <clears throat> as I go to say goodbye, the funniest thing was yesterday he was talking about um, somebody at work who was just being defiant for the sake of being defiant. Like, you know, oh, you know that person who you tell, um, you know, you say, you know, push the mop back and forth because that's the way the, the mop head works. And they just decide to go side to side. And I was like, yeah, I'm married to him. But that was today, I was like, you just are being defiant for the sake of being defiant. Like you, I got this, this gimbal that he bought for me. Now, just to give you some background, um, I started the YouTube channel almost three years ago. I've been wanting a gimbal for about two and a half years because I used to do shop with me's as a regular part of my channel and people would complain about the picture going up and down but with a gimbal it kind of gives it a little bit more smooth up and down transition so you don't feel like you're jiggly but you can see things like smoother um, which is really why I only vlog sitting at a table normally because otherwise you know you I waddle and you see the camera waddle and that kind of stuff so but we were putting the gimbal together. I was asking him to read the directions and he wanted to have his hands on it. And I'm like, well, how am I gonna learn if you do it for me? I'm not a good teacher. I said, I know, that's why I wanna have my hands on it because you can't teach me. So he's adjusting this knob and I said, I have the knob adjusted as far as it'll go. And he kept twisting it and it fell out. So then he was frustrated that it fell out. So he's trying to put it back in. So then the second time I went to go figure this adjustment out, I opened the knob all the way. Again, I never mentioned all the way until it'll fall out. I adjusted it all the way. And then he takes it to try to, I wanted him to see the sensitivity of the arm. And after fighting with me for three solid minutes about why he doesn't have to do this, that he believes me. And I said, I'm not asking you to whether or not you should believe me. I'm not trying to convince you. I want you to see it. So if you ever have to go adjust it, you know how minutely you have to adjust it. 
why do I have to do it? I just told you why you have to do it. Why are you like... So the first thing he does when he finally gets his hand on it is he tightens the screw. I said, what are you doing? He goes, I'm tightening the screw. It didn't need to be that loose. And of course I let it go. Then when I got the, the pod, the, the stick back, I said, okay, so it didn't have to be that loose, but did it have to be tighter? Like, the, the, I don't understand. Like, why couldn't it be that loose? Like, you're... Like, just do the, like, uh. And I will tell you, normally during the month, I can let that go. I let all of that go. You know, you can almost tell, like, because I get a little anemic when it's about to be the time of the month. And even though I do take the iron occasionally when it gets really bad, this has to happen before. Like I don't do my own blood tests at home, <laughs> except to test for sugar. Um, so you can't tell that you're about to be anemic. And because I'm, my cycle is not a 28 day cycle, I don't always know that it's coming. Plus I'm at a certain age where I don't always know that it's coming. So you can kind of tell I get like a little like uh, of the anemic dark circles under my eyes. So that's everything. I know, I love him. I know that when he gets home, I will be so much better. But I also know that right now, I'm glad he's at work, which normally I'm not. I'm also glad that I have tonight's video uploaded already. Tomorrow's video edited, I just need to go upload it. And um, actually tomorrow, no, it's uploaded. I just didn't schedule it, that's what I need to do. And, um, then I can just sit on the couch and be like a big lump because that's what I want to be. She's lump, she's lump, she's lump. She might be dead. No, I'm not gonna be dead. But anyhow, um, that's everything. <laughs> so thank you all for listening to me. I'm about to go have my the rest of my first cup of coffee, have a second cup of coffee with a little bit of French vanilla creamer in there because I deserve it. Because getting up, cleaning, making breakfast, unloading the dishwasher, playing with the gimbal, going to the grocery store, packing it up, unpacking it, hauling it, cleaning up. I'm going to go sit down and have a great day. Listen, everybody, I want to just say thank you for everything. You guys are the best, oh, the absolute best. I don't know where I would be without you. I'll tell you that much. So as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.